Welcome back. As we promised, we are going to dedicate the um, uh, main segment of our episode to the night of uh, revelation, to the night of decree, to Laylat al-Qadr. And to speak about Laylat al-Qadr, this needs a lot of episodes. But we are going to try to ask the most important questions about uh, this great night and about uh, the reward of those who uh, were keen to pray and uh, the real worshippers who tried their best to be closer to God, particularly in that night. We are very much delighted to have with us via phone Dr. Saeed Kishk, our Islamic researcher and scholar. A very good morning to you, sir. Hello? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, yeah, good morning. Sir, first, before going into more details, of course, happy Ramadan, and we hope that you have enjoyed the 27 uh, days of the holy month uh, in a very um, wonderful spiritual atmosphere. And we all pray that Ramadan uh, came with uh, prosperity, with welfare, with peace, with love to all people. About Laylat al-Qadr or the night of uh, um, uh, revelation or the night of decree. First, why uh, it was named after those two terms, revelation or decree? Great. Um, first of all, for all dear viewers, salamu alayhi wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum salam. And many happy um, returners and um, happy Ramadan and Ramadan Kareem for all our dear viewers. Laylatul Qadri, um, at the beginning, it called either the night of revelation mm -hmm. or the night of decree. Mm -hmm. The night of revelation, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described it, inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka. So that's why called the night of revelation as the holy quran was revealed from the heaven for the first time to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him why the kobe be upon him that's why it's called the night of revelation allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes it as in anzalnahu fi laylatin mubarakan as we have received the holy quran upon the prophet muhammad in a blessed night yes and another interpretation for the night of decree as it is the night of destiny. It is the night of decree mm. or the night of the faith. Scholars said that the night of decree is called the Laylatul Qadri and the Al Qadr is one of the pillars of the faith. Mm -hmm. The pillar of the faith that we have to believe in Allah and His angel and His books and Al Qadri Khairihi wa Sharri. Yep. To believe in decree or in destiny mm -hmm. is one of the pillars of the faith in yes. Islam. Yeah. And it's called the Laylatul Qadri or the night of decree according to the second interpretation as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Fiha yufraku kullu amrin hakeem. Mm -hmm. Which means that every single decision is being decided for all people on that night. Yes. That's why it's called the night of decree mm -hmm. or the night of revelation according to the two authentic interpretations that has been by the, by the Muslim scholar. Yes. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that man qama laylatul qadri imanan wa hisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. Whoever yep. stands in prayers for that night of decree with a firm belief seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of his previous sins will be forgiven. Yes. Sir. And all Muslims, Ummah. Yeah. Uh, they are I beg your pardon, night. sir. I'd like to interrupt here to speak about what you've kindly mentioned. Because many people would ask themselves even, why God Almighty did not specify a night? Why Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, ordered us to check the uh, revelation night or the night of revelation or the night of decree mm -hmm. in the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan and not in a specific day even there are uh, two uh, hadiths of Prophet Muhammad speaking about the even nights or even the um, uh, other nights in the 10 days why it's not specified great at the beginning a hadith of the authentic hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, which is, which is says when the night of decree should be expected, 
تحروها في وتر العشر الاواخر من رمضان از بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وي شود اكسبكت ذا نايت اوف ذا كوي ديورينج ذا اولد نايت اوف ذا تين اوف ذا اوف ذا لاست نايت اوف ذا مانث اوف رمضان اند ان اذر انتربريتيشن ويتش ان انذر حديث ويتش از اوثنتيك حديث از ويل ذا بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في تحروها في السبع الاواخر تحروها في وتر السبع الاواخر من رمضان يس ذا وي هاف تو اكسبكت during the old night of the last seven days of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. And the two are authentic hadiths yes. that we are Muslims should expect the night of the queen during the last seven nights of Ramadan. Why mm -hmm. the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't make it specific for the Ummah? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Islam and the Quran doesn't want to make it hard for Muslims. But actually he like or Islam would like to make Muslims to open the door for, for them to work hard during the, during the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan, not only during one night. Yes. And the reward of that night is really worth that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, that worshiping, worshiping Allah during that night equals better, or better, than, better than 1,000 than, months. 1,000 months, which is better than... 83 years of course yes. mm -hmm. it really deserved for Muslims to mm -hmm. work hard not only for one night but work hard for the 10 nights seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making istighfar and the dua asking Allah forgiveness yes. for, for the last 10 nights so it's not to make it hard for Muslims actually but Islam wants the Muslims to work hard for the 10 nights seeking Allah's forgiveness and, and sir, if you permit me never. to add another explanation or interpretation to the whole issue, um, and would you please elaborate on what I'm going to say or correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. God loves us that much and God Almighty wants us to pray more and to be closer to him more, not in one day or in one night, but during the last 10 days to try to, uh, to have this reward of the night of revelation. And there is another thing that our faith is telling us just to say Amen. Since God did not tell Prophet Muhammad to tell us, peace be upon him, to tell us when the night of revelation is specifically or even what is the greatest name of God Almighty or Ismillah Al-Azam, this is to believe in exactly. what Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, and also to say amen without uh, asking why. True? You are, you are exactly true. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to get closer to him, not in one night, but all for the whole time. And then, you know, why? These are very specific occasions for Muslims, the ummah, specific for, for, for the Muslims, the ummah. It is not a hat. Yes. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says specific occasion, specific time when mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiply the reward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would like to multiply the reward for his ummah, for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would like to confirm saying that to the, to the Ummah of Muhammad that there is a specific occasion in your lifetime, in your life span, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplied the reward to seize the opportunity. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in other hadith that was shaqiyu. Yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi described the night of the night of decree in, in the last the, the last part of the hadith said that فِيهِ لَيْلَةٌ مَنْ حُرِمَ خَيْرَهَا فَقَدْ حُرِمَ الْخَيْرَ كُلَّهِ So who are a great loser, who are lost the opportunity of that night of decree, which is خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرِ بِتَرْ than a thousand of months, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the easiest opportunity ever for the Muslims, the Ummah, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a blessed night in a blessed month. Yes. That's why it is one of the more and a very specific nafha or a specific occasion in Islam that deserves and works to work hard 
June is the last in line yes, of sir. the month and of Ramadan. Yes, we, sir. We, and we all hope that by this, we all hope that uh, Ramadan is going to be the whole year because only 30 days are not enough. But this is uh, the way um, we should say thank you to uh, Ramadan to... Um, have all these opportunities and chances to be closer to God and particularly in the last 10 days and particularly in the night of mm -hmm. revelation or the night of decree. Dr. Saeed Kishke, our Islamic researcher and scholar, thank you very much for your input, sir. Have thank a you. Very good and day. happy Ramadan. Many happy returns for all the most. Happy in Ramadan, Ramadan, sir. Happy Ramadan. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Thank you, sir. Peace, it is until the emergence of dawn. Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. Well, happy Ramadan to all our viewers, and we hope that a day after the other we are going to be closer to God in Ramadan and after Ramadan. By this, we come to the end of this episode of our breakfast show. You were in the company of my dear colleague, Amal Mukhtar, and myself, Nermeen Abdurrahman. Tomorrow is another day with another crew. Many thanks for watching. <laughs>